Toyota is now the world's largest car company, but it's not the size of the company that really makes them unique and special. Toyota is a company with a huge vision for the future and a huge passion to change and transform the world. I've been fortunate enough to meet the current president, Akio Toyota, who is the grandson of the founder, about a dozen times in Japan. And every single time I meet with him and speak to him, I come away completely impressed with his vision for the future. About one year ago, at the Consumer Electronics Show, Akio Toyota made a huge announcement that Toyota will build a city of the future, a prototype city that will completely transform the way we live, the way we think, and the way we interact with each other. Simply called a woven city, Toyota has actually made a groundbreaking ceremony just recently and made a special video about this amazing, interesting, and fascinating project. This brand new city of the future will transform people, transform city, and transform the world around them. So let's hear from the senior leaders who are spearheading this project along with Akio Toyota himself. The groundbreaking ceremony took place in the foothills of Mount Fuji where there is also an existing Toyota factory. Unfortunately, Toyota has to close down that factory and I've been to that place many times. But still, this is an amazing and exciting journey because Woven City will transform the world around us. Let's watch and see the details. In a land of mountains, Mount Fuji rises above them all, a sacred and powerful symbol of Japan's quest for harmony and happiness. A mountain that will soon serve as the dramatic backdrop for a new symbol of the future, the Toyota Woven City. There are very few chances in one's life to work on a project of this scale and with this ambition. For an architect, you would like to find yourself involved in meaningful projects that make a difference. This was not just, we have some land available because we're moving some factories around. What should we do with it? No, no, it was much more deeply rooted in the vision of what kind of a company Toyota is and what kind of a company Toyota can become. Woven City has three principles, which is human-centered, living laboratory, and ever-evolving. The exciting aspect of living laboratory inside Woven City is that we could have an opportunity to accelerate new products and development, and maybe not just for Toyota. By inviting researchers and scientists into this living laboratory, we hope to be able to partner and learn what kinds of technologies can be practically deployed and also the kinds of technologies that people enjoy and want. Akio has the humility to say that this is not something we're doing to show the world how great Toyota is. This is something we're doing because we want to make discoveries and we have to make those discoveries in partnership with other companies. One of the advantages of having a city that's self-contained on private land is that we can test new technologies at speed and at scale. Some of the technologies that we will test in the Woven City include automated driving, automated package delivery, clean energy, robotics. I'm very excited to see what happens when you combine software and hardware at an urban scale. We can create holistic thinking that would be impossible in other environments. One of the things I'm most excited about is this concept of a digital twin. The idea that we can create in software a virtual version of the city. It will allow us to test many connected technologies and our software platform for the city, even while the city is being constructed. One of the exciting ideas for the Woven City is the philosophy that anyone who lives in the Woven City is a willing participant and in fact a co-founder for residents or people who are inside Woven City, they could try new things. Like a first person in the moon, um, like first people uh, who use this product. 
it'll be an incredible diverse population of people who are willing and eager to explore new technologies to improve our daily lives. And we have been overwhelmed with the enthusiasm and positive response from the announcement at CES. We had incredible interest from people all over the world interested in sharing our vision and contributing to the project. Thinking about what lies ahead of us with the Woven City, I am, of course, very excited. There's nothing better than having a, a great, exciting mountain to climb. And this is definitely the Mount Fuji of urban projects. I think this Woven City will be a dramatic change for Toyota. Not just being a car company, but truly being a mobility company. Mobility comes from the word move. And move has, I think, two aspects, which is moving point A to point B. The other is emotional feeling. I am moved. How can we live happier and healthier on our planet sustainably for the future? I believe that with The Woven City, we can hopefully contribute something really meaningful.昨年12月9日、地域の皆様にお支えいただきながら、この地で生産を続けてまいりました、トヨタ自動車東日本の東富士工場が53年の歴史に幕を閉じました。東富士工場の歴史をこの町の未来につなげたい。本日自賃祭を迎えるにあたりこれまで多大なるご支援ご協力を賜りました裾野市静岡県及び地域の皆様そして工事関係者の皆様に熱く御礼申し上げます これからも地域の皆様と共に未来に向けた歩みを進めてまいります。Hello, I'm Akio Toyoda. A little over a year ago, I was standing on stage in Las Vegas at CES, telling the world about a project we call Urban City. Our dream was to create a place where people live, work, and play in a real-world living laboratory. A place where researchers, engineers, and scientists from around the world could come together to test and develop new technologies such as autonomy, robotics, AI, and more. Well, today, I'm happy to announce that our dream is well on its way to coming true because we just broke ground on a Wuben City site at the base of Mount Fuji. This groundbreaking ceremony was a result of a year of hard work and effort, made all the more difficult by the pandemic, and I would very much like to thank everyone involved. It's still hard to comprehend how much has changed in just the past year and how many have suffered around the world. Perhaps, like me, it's caused you to think about what's most important in life and how precious it truly is. In fact, the challenges of this past year have made my determination to build the Wuben City even stronger. As a CEO of Toyota and the grandson of its founder, I have faced many challenges during my time here, from recession to recalls to earthquakes and tsunamis. I have personally felt the pressure to live up to the expectation of my last name and to keep Toyota thriving, both for my fellow countrymen as well as our employees and customers around the world. I am proud of what Toyota has become and why it has contributed to the world so far 
but I believe Toyota can do more. Now more than ever, I believe that as a global society, we need to come together to heal, to grow, to learn, and to create new possibilities for a collective future. I realize that our dream is ambitious. I know there are skeptics. Some even work for Toyota. But I also know there are believers, people who want to make a real difference in the way we live, in how we care for the planet, in how we care for each other. At Toyota, we embrace the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations. And we hope that Wuben City will provide a unique opportunity to create technologies that will help achieve these goals. And with your help, I believe we can. Many of you have already raised your hand, and for that, I want to thank you. It's only through partnership and collaboration that we will realize a dream of not just mobility for all, but a better quality of life for all. In fact, if it were up to me, I would add an 18th goal to the SDGs list, happiness. Because no matter where we live, happiness is something we all desire and we all deserve. And I want this to be the goal and the guiding light for everything we build and create at the Woven City. Over 80 years ago, my grandfather Kichiro actually founded Toyota with a similar ambition. He wanted to give the people of Japan something that didn't yet exist, a Japanese automobile, something that would improve their lives and bring them happiness. He also deeply believed that Toyota had a responsibility to contribute to society. He may not have imagined how far around the world that responsibility would extend, but even now, the DNA of the woven city comes from him. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of our Toyota customers and employees for their support. And through projects like the Urban City, I hope we can show appreciation in return. This groundbreaking marks a very special new chapter in our story, in our industry, and in our future. And here at the base of beautiful Mount Fuji, it's worth remembering that every mountain top is within reach if you just keep climbing. Thank you very much. <laughs>